So I've cut my own hair a handful of times. I've done it all, you know. I use rusty kitchen scissors, razors, and now kitchen scissors, as you're about to see. One thing that I don't understand, though, is when Mulan uses a fucking sword and just swiftly cuts it all off in one motion. That doesn't make sense. Nature says no to that. So I don't understand how that happened, but that's not the story. I even filmed myself one time. I cut my hair in my bathtub without a mirror. Actually, none of my videos are big, but that was pretty big in my terms. I was starting to look like a sheepdog again, which is just not the energy that I'm going for. So I called my pal Kira and uh, asked for her assistance. I know you're not a hairdresser. I trust you to not decapitate me. So you want to, um, do a quarantine cut? Yeah, sure. What do you wanna do? I don't care. You are doing a service to me. You pick the haircut. It is your hairstyle. You run with it. You live your wildest dreams. It's all up to you, baby. You're getting a bullet. I immediately tracked down to Toronto, like three weeks later. We sat on her kitchen floor and she brought out her cow print kitchen scissors and started hacking away. It's time for Kira's Ratchet Salon. We specialize in mullets and only mullets. Actually, you don't specialize in anything yes, because you've never you done know. this before. You don't know me. You... Shower. I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay. Okay, I feel like I should start with bangs. No. <laughs> Aw, it's so pretty. <laughs> Oh, but I just stuck my hand directly into a pile of hair. There's a reason that there's hairdresser scissors because that shit hurt. It hurt. I know that's such a threatening sound. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry! It's more threatening when you rip my hair out of my skull. Are you freaking scissors? <laughs> oh my god, it's already almost 11. Look at me. I need to cut so much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move like that when you're getting a haircut. I'm sorry. <laughs> I might need you to face with me, but that does not make for a very good contact. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, that, was, that worked. Yeah? High five. Oh, Harry. <laughs> In here. Seeing my mullet for the first time. <laughs> yes. Yes. I think she did a fantastic job. There were a couple small incidents that we had to clean up. But I did not think I was gonna dye my full head. And then I did. And I didn't even pick the colors. Uh, I went to my friend's house as like a last hurrah before she moved back to college with my other friend. And they were just sitting in the bathtub dyeing their hair. And they were like, you want in? And I said, yeah, I want in. So then I just took the hair dye that they had and they picked the colors and then we ended up all having like matching hair kind of Aww. like different but matching and it was really cute. We're really cute. So <coughs> Wow, I just choked on nothing. I got a quarantine haircut. No, it's not original, but it was still exciting and I still like it better than the way I looked before cuz that was a mess. Uh, but now at least I'm like a cool rocker-esque mess. My aunt told me I look like Joan Jett, so that's cool. Are y'all ready? Copyright cover time. I know you see somehow love has changed for me. Oh, wonderful. Andy. I'm sorry, I boom, love you. Boom. Oh, and my friend pierced my ear with a sewing needle and fire. Okay, that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this small tale of my midnight mullet. Um, I will be riding off into the darkness come fall to join a skeleton pirate army uh, of rock. So get ready for that movie. Bye!